Chinese opera, traditional theatre, is a performing art. And for performing art, you need audience. Without audience, we don't perform. In order to increase the audience, and in order to create more interest. In the mid-80s, my husband Leslie and I, we started a program called Bring the Chinese Opera to the People. And we went to the community centres and performed Chinese opera. And that was to make it easy for people to come, from, come down from their homes, the housing board flats, and just walk a short distance or take a short bus trip to the community centres to watch Chinese opera. I'm uh, involved in the art community for many decades, uh, but not as an artist, but in a sense as, some, uh, as a supporter, a supporter to promote the arts. And there are very few outlets for the artists to raise money for their own work we are able to help some artists and we will try to do. We need progress, we need more art and, and we need more culture. Like all generations, I would like to see people are committed, passionately committed to the work they're doing, particularly work that's meaningful. Um, socially meaningful, emotionally meaningful, and meaningful to yourself. I was born in 1939. <laughs> I got married in the age of 50. I came here as a young bride in Singapore with my husband. So I joined him and started helping him in classes, teaching him. Singapore was not sufficient financially for survival, so we had to open our wings, fly even to Penang and every weekend we used to travel. And when the separation came, that is the day I, we both sat and listened to our PM talking and then we thought that we are also going to be in, in, in problem. We have to stand alone now because we had so much of money came from Malaya that it's not going to come anymore. But then we decided, no, this, this is it. We shouldn't be doing it. Stick to Singapore this is my our home and we concentrated on our play, on our country, our people. The preservation of historic building is a long, continuous process. It requires a long and sustained effort and policy. I think it's our job to try and afford to keep the old buildings. For example, the fort factory, which was conserved in, in my time. The Fort Factory was a scene where at the end of the siege of Singapore, when the British surrendered to the Japanese, carrying a white flag. That was the first time Singaporeans saw the British Army surrendered. Historic occasion in a historic place, the Fort Factory. And this is conserved because of a historic reason. Well, I suppose very often when, when uh, say, young people visit the National Museum, they're not aware that there has been that kind of history behind it. My board uh, produced a book highlighting a number of the monuments, hopefully to interested people to will see it in the book and then go and see the actual monuments themselves. As the saying goes, money cannot buy the, the history and, and the character of a city. If, if you are left some old buildings, uh, you are lucky to have it. I think we should make every effort to preserve it. When I was young, I never thought I wanted to be a sculptor. But later on, my brother went to art school. He became a quite well-known artist. So I think he's influenced me a lot in art. So when I grew up, I also went to art school. Since 1997, I quit all my job and, and become fully a full-time sculptor. After that, I get a commission work 
from here and there. So establish my financial support for me to keep on going, survive as a sculptor. Asal saya baru terus kita bina mulai dari enam hari bulan Ogos tahun 1950. Tubuhkan satu satu pertubuhan asal 50 itu ialah untuk mengumpulkan polis-polis muda ini supaya terus mempelajari sasa lama, tekarkan bahasa lama sambil mencipta sasa baru. Mula-mula saya rakyat Malaysia kru Singapura. Saya Singapura Malaysia kan. Lepas tu bila Malaysia besar, orang Singapura yang macam saya ini tak berubah. Kalau orang Malaysia yang nak kekal di Malaysia, dia tukar ke Malaysia. Mula-mula bila saya membuat keputusan, saya tinggal di Singapura. Walaupun kawan-kawan balik, okey? So apa pasal saya saya dah nak kerja di Singapura? Saya kata saya dah hidup di Singapura, hidup di Singapura, biar mati di Singapura. Mrs. Wong is a role model, and of course I would want to follow her steps to do as much as I can. I would wish that the younger generation will hold the talks and you know continue to promote the art. For the young artists, you are in the arts because you love the arts, whatever arts you're in, whether dance, music or drama or what have you. The thing to do is, since you're in it, you love it, you must have a passion for it. You must be willing to make some sacrifices and also continue to plod on and not give up and be tireless. Then you will see the fruits of your labour in the end, I'm quite sure.